hip-hop uncensored is the vibe so subscribe oh god driving sam and riding passenger side and you heard it out Go on, what you <laughs> so, sorry about that we had a little delay there i said let's break down styles p publishing situation you've seen the video we all seen the video of him talking about it now first did you work with him personally and what is your thoughts about him saying that he, he's only getting 25k per year from his publishing yeah i mean i know styles p for some years now i've been we've been we've been working on this <laughs> we've been working on this for some time for some time now <laughs> and um and um you know, we, we, we've gotten some results. Um, it's it, it, If you're asking if it has to do anything with Puff or anything like that, I, it's not it's not really so, per se, a Puff issue. It's um it's the, it's the, it's the administrator's issue. It's the it's, it's, it's a Sony ATV issue, I would say. I would say it's more of a software issue. Um, what, you know, what's not being logged, what isn't being logged, things like that. So how... how <laughs> Do a lot of these moguls like you see a fat Joe or even like a Diddy take the blame where it's not justified, where it's something else in the paperwork that it's a person behind the scenes that's more of a villain than the front men. They take a lot of a lot of blame for that shit. I mean, I mean, once again, a lot of these guys, well, a lot of these guys in the entertainment business, they know they know they know my hot records make money. They know my hot records. With my hot records, I go get a publishing deal, I'm gonna go get some money. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't necessarily mean that they know how money's made. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 how it's transported. You know what I'm saying? So um I might talk to Puff or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And he doesn't that doesn't mean he knows, you know what I'm saying? I gotta tell him what's going on. Then he gotta go, you know, make a call and you know, make an OG call and uh try to get it rectified, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not, what? Ma imagine how big his royalty statement is. You think he's reading his royalty statement? <laughs> his royalty statement is probably 30,000 pages. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, come on. And that brings it definitely into um, perspective. Break it down for the average person. What What is publishing, like, Um, how does it work? And how do the splits usually work? Could you break that down for the average person who don't really know the music publishing game like that? I mean, how the split works, I mean, without a sample, there's 100%, you have 100% of composition. You two guys, you guys, you know, you guys make a record. He, you know, one, one, you know, makes the beat, the other one writes the lyrics, that's 50-50, uh -huh. all right, basically. He makes a, you know, he comes in with a sample, he might not get any publishing. Neither of you might not get any publishing. You know, the sample might come in and take it all. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how much is used. Maybe you didn't license it. You might get sued. You might, you might, you know, a whole bunch of things might happen. But um, I mean, we're publishing. I mean, there's mechanical publishing, um, which is like sales. Um, back in the '90s, you would think like uh, compact discs, uh, vinyl tapes. Yeah. Now it's now it's that except for tapes and CDs. It's uh, what um, Spotify, Apple. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Um, you got performance royalties, which would be like your CSAC, uh, BMI, ASCAP royalties, performance royalties, with maybe like a T from radio, TV usage, you know, if your song's played in the TV show, things like that. You got sync licensing, you know, that's, um, you know, if they're gonna use your song in a TV show, you get a licensing, you know, agreement, you know, they might give you 50,000 use your song and you two guys got 50 50 now you're gonna get 25,000 each you know publisher might take 25 percent now you know you know got to break down from that you know what i'm saying um and that's basically it i mean you know you go get a publishing deal uh an admin or a co-pub they'll go collect the money for you some of them will, some of them will give you royalties uh every three months some will give you royalties every six months uh you know on a co-pub uh, I've heard of publishers giving royalties out like every month now too. You know what I'm saying? If as long as you reach a threshold. So I mean that's that's the publishing game for you. But you gotta, you guys gotta be real educated in that business because you know it gets it gets ugly. It just like I said, like just because you got a publisher, that doesn't mean he's collecting all your money. You know, I can I could trick I could I could trick your publisher out. I could. You know, I could take your money if I wanted to, and your publisher wouldn't even tell wouldn't even tell you. 
You know, me on, me on the outside, I have no contract with you. You know what I'm saying? You got a publishing deal with Universal or somebody like that. You know, just for shits and giggles, you know, I, there's there's people that know how to tap into your account and uh, get the money and get a little piece of your money. You know, and your publisher's not even going to tell you. Now, who are these people? Like, you mean like investors, somebody like in the investment game that can go in and grab a stock? No, white, co- no, white, no, white collar criminals. Cats, cats that say, shoot, like, if I take publishing, you know, I'll go to court civilly, maybe not criminally, and, you know, I won't land in jail for, for stealing publishing. I'll just I'll just be a white collar criminal and just steal publishing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there, there's guys out there that steal publishing for a living. Uh, I, I just had a guy in court last year, Rollo Wonder, Rashid Harrison. They call him Rollo Wonder. He's a little fucking piece of shit, but he's running around all over the place. He got a whole bunch of stolen catalog, maybe like a thousand songs he got stolen. Like most of them are stolen. He forged maybe like 30 different contracts on behalf of writers. Uh, I had um Dame Grease. He he forged Dame Grease's contract. I had him in court for Dame Grease, stealing, stealing 30 songs from Dame Grease. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I mean, there's guys like that. They just you know know what they're doing. They know how, they know how to you know steal catalogs. Jump from town to town, hide, you know, we can floss, you know, you know, this guy's all over the place. But you gotta watch out for guys like that. They just they just vultures just trying to play high profile to suck you into like certain situations to know your information so they could steal steal your royalties. That's crazy. And you won't even see this guy face to face. You won't even see him face to face. If he came in the room, you wouldn't even know. Man. Yeah. Same but that's, that's, that's but that's a company called Wonder Boy Publishing, Wonder Wonder Group, Wonder Boy Publishing. Okay. Talk about sampling a little bit. Um, I remember like back in the day with Diddy, like he would kill a sampling, sampling game. Mace was on it, Biggie was on it, he was on it, everybody was on it with Bad Boy. But I know a lot of people that they make money from sampling, like you were just talking about, like you were just breaking down. So how many, how much, how many of those artists probably realistically made money on them records because of all the sampling? I mean, they just got a small. They got a small split. I mean, if they're if they're if they're an artist, it's harder for them to recoup because they got to pay out the sample. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, they could. You could you could have did an album in 1998, 97, and you could still be unrecouped or just recouping. Twenty three years later. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got a client that came out with an album in '98. Um, they just recouped last month. You know, every song had a sample in it, though. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's if they want to. They technically don't even have to give you money, right? They could just say no, it's all mine. A lot of people do. What do you mean, the record label? The people, the, the person that owns the sample. I mean, if you come early, if you come early and just give them a license before the record is out, I'm not times out of ten they're going to work with you. The publisher's going to work with you and, and sign off on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, some guys don't want don't want their you know music incorporated with rap and stuff like that. But, but nine times out of ten, they're gonna clear it. Um, yeah, well, I forgot the question. I'm sorry. No, 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 you, uh, to it. no, 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 no problem. You, you pretty much answered it. I was asking who um has to clear the sample. How how often does that get? Does that happen? Nine times, nine times out of ten, it's gonna be clear. Okay. But you know, like but like I said. The, if it's, if it's an artist, the artist is gonna, just like I told you, it takes a while for them to recoup because they got so many samples. If it's a producer, the producer might just get a producer royalty, which is like points. He might just get points and he might not he might not get any, any publishing because he came with the sample. You know, a smart lawyer is gonna say, a smart lawyer is gonna protect his artist and say, nah, man, like you came with the sample. You know what I'm saying? You're costing us too much. I'm not, I'm not giving you, I'm not. I'm not giving. I'm not going to pay for the sample and give you publishing. You see what I'm saying? And split the publishing with with the artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. I'm. I'm you're not getting no publishing. Next time, come with an original composition. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and you know and um. Just take the points. Yeah. Yeah. Were you uh familiar with um, Michael Jackson's um, publishing situation, his contract at all? I mean, I mean, if you, I, I could probably talk about it if you talk, if you, if you mention something. Well, I think he had an issue with um, Sony. 
I don't know if you ever heard about that that issue. You know anything about that too much or? Um, what do you mean where where, where they where they sold it? I think they didn't they sell yeah. like the, they sold the publishing or they sold the um or the producer. Sure. They sold one of their one of their accounts to Sony, right? Oh no, they sold the publishing to Sony ATV. Okay, yeah, that's, right. Yeah, that's right. After his death, they sold the publishing to Sony ATV. Yeah, I, I heard about that. I mean, I don't know if there's any drama involved. I think Londell McMillan's the attorney for that. Um, okay. I don't. I don't know if there was any. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you about that. Now, how did you, you know, um, besides going to school, acquire these uh, these special skills to kind of find stuff that lawyers not even finding? Like, I mean, like, I in high school I grew up with some cats um, that were super talented, and they and they got famous and everything. You know, shout out to them. Um, and I, I still have I still have a friend. Well, I do have a friend still. Del, I, I got a friend, Delwin Williams, in high school. He was, you know, he had uh he had equipment in his room and stuff like that. And he would he was talking over my head. He was talking about copyrights, publishing, things like that. Things I didn't know about in high school. You know what I'm saying? Then I had then I had a few friends come out, uh, redhead kingpin, some other guys. They came out in high school and stuff like that. Some of these guys got caught up in like unfortunate um situations with their first album and stuff like that. You know. And um, I started getting educated from there, from, you know, I guess, you know, just hearing like, oh, like this guy had no publishing on his album, things like that. You know, you just hear things like that. It just made me want to pick up the books and read about it and stuff like that. And in the 90s, I was doing like a whole bunch of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like opposite of opposite of what I'm doing now. I was more trying to head to the jail cell, I would say. And, and, and but honestly, I was always reading music books, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. At the end of the day, you know, I had I had a lot of education in me. You know, by the time like '99 came, 2000 came, I was kind of able to talk my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but I still was, wasn't utilizing. You know my you know for the for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? But I I I, I would I hung out with a lot of people. You know, crew to crew. I used to hang around at Bad Boy. I used to, I used to hang out at work, uh, Game Records uh, where Royce the Five Nine was signed. Shout out to Royce. You know, I, I just been in a lot of think tanks, man. You know what I'm saying? I read a lot of books and like I said, Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill, it was really like the Sugar Hill father kind of was one was the father, Joe Robinson, also like like after high school, I would go over there. You know, he would teach me like certain words in the contract that that I didn't know. You know, I I didn't know honestly, I didn't know what 21 but perpetuity meant in the contract. I didn't know what perpetuity meant, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, Oh, like that means they keep it forever and things like you know, so I was able to just, you know, gain my own skills, you know, with with that, you know, just from just from feeding off of other people, you know, and um, I got a little bit of common sense, you know, and um, it's just been it's just started to work out. I I just married a lot of paperwork, man. I'm telling you, it's like yeah. I've been with, 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 even with the big pun case. I I went through I went through like fifteen thousand pages just to discovery. You know what I'm saying and. I went through that like twice, you know what I'm saying? So that's more like 30,000 pages, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I just, I've sat on a lot of pages. I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of publishing companies make fake statements, you know, deceiving statements. I mean, Sugar Hill and Jelly Bean is not the only company I've seen statements from, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that was playing with the accounting, you know what I'm saying? I've seen, I've seen variations of styles, you know what I'm saying? The variations of styles you know, I, I've consumed, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, I'm, I'm hypersensitive to, you know, to what I see now. Or anybody ever right. try to come on you? Like you get somebody at the case and somebody a little higher, like, yo man, leave this shit alone. This ain't your place. Anybody ever come at you like that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 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 absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, yeah, back in like, yeah, I'll talk about it. Back in like 2011, somebody pulled out a gun on me. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> they were trying to just like, I don't want, I, don't, I ain't trying to have you in Cranberry. We ain't trying to Vlad you or nothing, but. <laughs> what? No, I, I mean, I don't care, but it's all good. Who, uh, like, was the contract like that deep? Like, they were really trying to pin, like, keep whoever it was down that crazy? That they had to pull a gun out on you and tell you to leave you the fuck alone? Yeah, man. They're, they're, they're still nervous. I ain't stopping. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Will we know about okay. it once that, once, that, once that clears it? Would that be something we know about and see? 
Um, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, it didn't stop my. I mean, I did them dirty back then and continual. I, it, it's not stopping nothing. I, you know what I'm saying? Like they're not. That's not. You know what I'm saying? That didn't. That didn't slow the roll per se. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, like. Whatever happened in 2011, I kept on doing it. I did it in 2012, 15, 17. Now, don't you know? It is what it is. Word. So, 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 what's next for you, man? Besides, you know, looking at these deals and trying to get, you know, find these discrepancies. What's next for you in life? You know, I, got, I got, I got, I got another, I got another client. Probably right. the situation, the situation is just as big as big is the big pun situation. Okay. Um, it, Maybe in another week or so, I'll be able to talk about it publicly. But um, oh, yeah. this person, this person has been put in a very bad posi- bad position <laughs> from <laughs> from a rapper. <laughs> and um, this person, this person hasn't seen any money in like twenty years, twenty five years, something like that. Thirty years, no, even like thirty years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I gotta keep it quiet for now. But I already made some inquiries. I already, I'm already in the process of taking back like fifteen songs from somebody who stole, who's stealing from the. Um, I got to kind of clear up some stuff behind the scenes and then I'm probably going to go public about it because there's more to it. And um, it's going to be ugly. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. How often times oh, did that happen in the rap game? Say again? How many times often did not do you see that kind of situation happen in a rap game in particular? Like people really not getting their bread how they need to be getting it? <sighs> That's everybody. Damn. I mean, you can't. I don't. Somebody can't tell me that they're getting all their money. So somebody just can't. I just every time I die, somebody, somebody can't tell me that. They can't say they're getting all their money, hundred percent. I just, I just can't. I just can't see it. I just can't see it. I just can't see it. I always be able to find the discrepancy, even if it's small, because I know where I know where to go. Man. Yeah. Like I said, I, I've. I play with a lot of paperwork. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know, I know the tell signs. What's, what's, what's the best advice for a young artist? Because you earlier on and you said that you were frustrated in people, how much credit they give lawyers. So so where should a, a young artist go in and making sure they get fucked over as least as possible? I mean, I think they need to be able to read and comprehend. <laughs> It's a tall task. They're trying to get that bread. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's all it really is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, you know, I know these guys. They could tell you everything about sports. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But not about, the, not, but not about how their career goes. You know, paperwork wise. You know what I'm saying? Like they need to put more time, some more of that free time into, into what's you know really serious. You know what I'm saying? Because this is. This is taking care of your families and everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, there's no excuse. I, there, there just isn't. There's no excuse, man. I mean, if you if you don't understand what certain things mean, don't be ashamed to ask what it means, man. I mean, maybe your lawyer doesn't want to tell you so much because now the more you know, the less he might be able to take advantage of you because now he doesn't look like Superman anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing. Like, I, I, yeah, I, I, I just, yeah. I mean, these lawyers, man, they're not, they're not, they're not. I mean, I know some good lawyers, and believe me, I mean, I need them. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And and I highly respect the lawyers I work with or and and have worked with. But I know I know a lot of silly ones too. You know what I'm saying? That um, they're not capable of. You know, they're just not capable. And 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 a lot of record label people are like that too. I mean, I talk to a lot of people at record labels and stuff like that and in all sorts of positions. They're not they're not qualified for the chair they're sitting. They're sitting. They're just not. You know what I'm saying? Not when I gotta tell you what to do and you've been there twenty years and this and that, and like, oh, this is the first time I heard something like this. I don't I don't need to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Like you just slowing down the progress, what I'm trying to do. Now I gotta explain to you how this goes for all this time. You know what I'm saying? You've been you've been working there 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm talking, and that's like most of the people I talk to at the labels. They just, you know, like, I, I do I do surgery. I don't do cuts and bruises. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know when I'm when I'm when I'm trying when I'm talking about deep shit. 
You know what I'm saying? I I don't need to, I don't need you to be a band-aid fixer. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And um yeah, it's, it, it's that that frustrates me also. You know what I'm saying? I've had to, you know, hang up on label people. I don't even hear the rest of the conversation. I just bang on them, you know, and it it, it hurts me because when I'm trying to reach out to them again <laughs> about some money, they'll just they'll put a memo on the floor like, oh, goose got goose call and don't 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 pick don't you know don't acknowledge them. <laughs> for like for like months and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but you know, shit like that happens. So it's a little back and forth with me and the label sometimes, but you know, I don't look at it as my fault. Like, you know, y'all should be more educated. You know, I, I shouldn't be upset. I shouldn't be upset when I call you because you don't know something. Right. right. You know? And it's it happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, damn man, you know. Yeah, man, we got Gone Goo Roach in the building today. We definitely appreciate you, you know, dropping yeah, through sure. the platform and all that knowledge for the people, man. Whenever you get ready, you know, just hit me up, email me, you can come back on, Hell yeah. bring the information, whatever you want to do, man, because I think it's valuable for our audience. I you know a lot of music, you know, producers, artists, for you to be on the program more than one time, man. So we we'll definitely appreciate you. No doubt. What's your information hey, for people to hit you up at? Yeah, y'all can hit me at... um. Gongu Roach at, at uh, Instagram. That's G O N G U R O A C H at Instagram. I guess you can see the name right there. Gongu Roach at Instagram. Just hit me up uh, if you need um, some advice on something. Just, you know, just holler. I'm here. You know? right. yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah. it, guys. All right. When we get off, and I'm going to grab your number, man. When we get off the air, definitely appreciate it. No doubt. Yeah. All right. Gonna go to podcast. We out. All right, thank you.